Sorry, buddy. Uh, guys. Aren't you going to invite me in? Depends. You here to kill us? Melvin, would you really be caught dead in that robe? I must admit, the thought of revenge did cross my mind. You cost me a tidy profit when you stole my Octium 4 chip. Our Octium 4 chip? We've returned it to its rightful owner now that we've published our expose of it. Mm, how wonderful of you. Ah, conspiracy theories and masturbation. I suspected there was a connection. What do you want, Eve? Right. Down to business, then. This morning, a body was found in a Long Island dumpster. A young man called Alex Goldsmith, better known as Double Bogey. DB, the golf nut. Hacker extraordinaire. You knew him? By reputation. After the 97 Masters tournament, he hijacked the Jumbotron screen in Times Square, made it flash Tiger is God for 26 minutes. Classic hack. Who smoked him? The police seem to think it was a drug deal gone bad. But that doesn't take into account the three match-grade frangible slugs dug from his chest. Ammunition used by intelligence services around the globe, but certainly not gangbangers. So, who wanted one of the world's best hackers dead? And why are you telling us? There's a story to be uncovered here, wouldn't you say? Unless, of course, you're no longer journalists, but budding pornographers. <laughs> Turn off the damn engine and stop wasting my gas. Oh, here we go with the gas again. It's a known carcinogen, you ingrate. Got like a pint of it down in my stomach. You drew the short straw. How was I supposed to know that you don't know how to siphon? And you, Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. Mr. Suck one gallon out of ten cars instead of ten gallons out of one car. Ethically, it seemed somewhat more defensible. Oh, you'll be sorry when I'm dead. Oh, yeah, prove it. Come on, get up. Out! Alex wasn't into drugs. That much I know for certain. He had so much going for him with the computers. He was brilliant. Had such a good heart. You put that in your article. That he didn't sell drugs. I guess you can see that I couldn't give him much growing up. But I did teach him right from wrong. How did Alex spend his time? Did he have a specific project he was working on? I didn't see much of it with these last few weeks. <laughs> um, may we see Alex's computer? was his very favorite thing in all the world. Alex said that if the house ever caught fire, it was the only thing worth saving. He even got it autographed by all the players in last year's US Open. Even Tiger Woods, see? Wow. I'm sure you gentlemen could do with a snack. I I'll be right back. Ah! <laughs> 
Big lot of nothing. The hard drive's been reformatted. Did you clean it up? Oh, yeah. You washed off all the names. Anybody got any magic markers? Fellas, how does lemonade sound? Oh, damn. <laughs> Tiger, not Tigger, you imbecile. Here you are, boys. Oh, that, uh, that looks lovely, but, uh... We gotta go. Yes, yeah, sorry. Really, really sorry. I was sick. Hey, guys, I'm not sure Alex was the saint his mother thinks he was. What's that? It's a bank check dated four days ago, made out to Alex Goldsmith for one million dollars. Enterprises, P.O.E. P.O.E. Corporation? Are we to believe Alex Goldsmith was working for a charity? Yeah, some charity cutting million-dollar checks to hackers. Sounds good to me. Well, the State Corporation Commission has jack squad on them. They have the CEO registered as a one James Bond, for God's sakes. A million bucks. I'd settle for $400 in cash to get my damn stomach pumped. Langley, run a plate. New York State, M-O-D-I-V, numeral eight. Shut up about your stomach. I'm oh, sure my liver's shutting down, but who cares? Philanthropic outreach. I bet the last donations these guys made was the three bullet holes they gave Alex Goldsmith. You're guessing he hacked for them and then they killed him? Hmm. The car's registered to one James Bond. Cute. Hey, check it. Mr. Bond, I presume. <laughs> Certainly in a hurry. Late for a secret meeting? 